Uh, can you speak about the latest projects at DRDO and your contribution towards it? DRDO is a very big organization in our country. We should say it has been the Dr. Abdul Kalam's uh, vision has been now, we can say it is almost fulfilled. Mm -hmm. What he dreamt some 10 years ago, this Brahmos is also is one of his dream as a uh, wings of fire in his one, in his one of his book, you know, he has described, you know, Brahmos is a good project, he was telling. And in those days when we look at it, <laughs> India was nowhere mm -hmm. in the missile technology. Then this DRDL was interested to have the integrated guided missile program, IGMP it is called, missile programs, mm -hmm. in which, you know, Prithvi, Astra, these are all the 1960s uh, missiles. Okay. We had a five-year vision that, you know, we should realize these missiles. Mm -hmm. But it has gone beyond five years. Mm -hmm. So almost you might have seen that, you know, very latest, maybe last five years, we have been talking about our uh, missile programs in our country, uh, to be precise. Otherwise, we had very old missiles like Nag, Astra, Prithvi. These missiles, you know, the hit ratio when you look at it, it is nowhere near the target. Suppose you fix a target that it has to hit uh, one door or uh, a room it will never hit. It will hit either 5 or 10 meters Radi radius. Mm -hmm. And we used to say that is a very big achievement. Mm -hmm. But today, Brahmos, when you have seen, this was the first missile to hit pinpoint. Mm -hmm. Suppose you mark a point as X, mm -hmm. it will go and hit that X. Okay. So that is the precision. So the hit ratio, if you see, it is very devastating. And the second is, the speed and the power. Most of the missiles are at good speed only, but you know, it is of all short range. Okay. Today, Brahmos is one which had a 290 kilometers range as at first sight, 290 kilometers. We should actually thank uh, our uh, Dr. Shivatanu Pillai, who was the father for Brahmos. Mm -hmm. He was the person who designed how the missile should look like and what I should do. Okay. It was a technology transfer from Russia. Mm -hmm. So it, Russians, when you look at it, they will not reveal you everything. Okay. See, they are making money in the process. Mm -hmm. So they give you a technology. Mm -hmm. Either you absorb or die. Okay. It is like that. So they have a fixed uh, time frame. You know, within two years, they'll give you the technology. Mm. And they say, I have given you everything, now it is your uh, chance to do it. So what Shivudanu Pillai did is, he took the technology, mm. then he said, we should learn this technology. It is not just taking the technology and uh, using it like any other country. For example, Pakistan or UAE or Dubai, if you see, they take the technology mm. and uh, they will just practice whatever the person has uh, told you to do. It is as good as, you know, the missiles are controlled by the parent. That is the Russian itself. If the Russian technology is being transferred to UAE, the Russian will control the missiles actually indirectly. Mm -hmm. Most of the programming is done by him only. This fellow will only press the button. Mm -hmm. It's only a blind spot pressing. So in case of a war, tomorrow you are waging war with Russia itself. Mm -hmm. Then he can point these missiles to your own self-destruction. Yes. So taking all this into account, you know, Shivatanu Pillai, what he did was, you know, you should learn the technology and we will have our own technology. That was one step ahead, which the Russians mm -hmm. never knew. Mm -hmm. That's why I am saying this is, when the Russian gave the technology, it was as an anti-ship missile. It means it has to hit only the hull of the ship. This missile was pr principally made by the Russians mm -hmm. to hit the hull of the ship, the front hull. Then the ship used to sink in the seas. Mm -hmm. 